The history of the area told through everyday objects. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Scott Schweiger. He's the art curator for the Reading Public Museum. Good to see you, Scott. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Jill. This is a homegrown exhibit, if you will. Talk to us a little bit about the nearly 100 objects that we'll see. Sure. Uh, this show, which is called The Cultural Celebration, Arts of Pennsylvania Germans from a private collection, is an assemblage of uh, objects that range from uh, baskets to textiles to furniture uh, to watercolors on paper uh, to metal objects uh, and, and pewter as well. So it's a sort of a, a grouping of common everyday household ob objects. And they really tell the story of everyday life, but many of these are, are very personal objects that mark the passage of time and mark important milestones in an individual's life. Right. We've got uh, things like uh, birth and baptismal uh, certificates. Um, uh, objects that are associated with the anniversaries and with weddings. So they're really, right, the markers of life uh, that are commemorated uh, and ornamented uh, beautifully and brightly uh, with, with, with some great motifs, uh, all sorts of whimsical designs. So I think uh, it's kind of a feast for the eyes, this exhibition. Which is a really interesting thing because you don't necessarily associate the, the group of people that, that made these with these vibrant colors and these whimsical designs. Let's take a look at one of them. And this is actually uh, a redware plate. And it's lovely. It's something that someone may purchase even today. Right, right. Well, the forms remain very popular, especially in the in this area in southeastern Pennsylvania. But yeah, you're right. I mean, the greens and the rich reds and uh, and yellows, uh, they're not understated colors, that's for sure. Uh, and. Uh, the, the, the Berks County and the surrounding counties, I think, uh, had, a, had a real taste for those sorts of bright colors. Uh, and in some cases, you can pinpoint a region by the colors that they use in, the, in their work. So. An another color that we'll see in the exhibit is green. And, and this next one looks almost like a, a jardinier, but what are we seeing here? It's dated 1798. Right. It's an 18th century earthenware example, and it was probably used for uh, sugar. Uh, in the household, but it, as you see, it's inscribed, it's dated. So uh, those sorts of markers were very important to the Pennsylvania Germans. And uh, again, uh, it, as you said, the, the forms remain popular and they're, they're things that we still like to live with and we're still drawn to. In addition to that, uh, the next object we'll see is a, a chest. Mm -hmm. And this was important as a milestone in life, but it's elaborately decorated as well. They look like unicorns. Right. These, this is uh, by the, the so-called black unicorn painter. And uh, you see it sort of uh, resembles the heraldry from, uh, from England and from the old country in, uh, in, in Germany uh, with, the, with the twin uh, unicorns facing one another. But these, these chests were uh, given in, in anticipation of marriages to both men and women. Uh, so they're kind of dowry chests, or that's, that's kind of the old traditions, they're dowry chests. But sometimes a man and a woman would bring, each of them would bring one of these into the marriage. And the next one is a, a chair. Talk to us a little bit about what we're seeing here, because again, another form that we would still see today. Right. This is a Windsor type uh, form, and uh, it is, again, kind of simple, uh, painted, um, straightforward lines, clean, um, and, you know, it, 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 it just speaks to that, that, that period, early 19th, late 18th century. And I want to quickly get to a coverlet, because the colors on this are really vibrant. Right, yeah. Weaving was one of the, the great skills, and there were many weavers. In Berks alone, there were at least a half a dozen. Uh, Wummelsdorf and, uh, and places like that uh, were, um, were very important for, as centers of weaving. And again, these are marked, these are dated uh, with the name of the maker, with the name of the recipient, and then the date as well. So, you know, there, there's a clear uh, way to trace where these objects came from. And the objects are 18th century, around 1750 through the late 19th century. Really That's a right. chance to see the history of the area through, through the objects that people lived with on a daily basis. Exactly. And it's great that so many of them have, have stayed right here in the county. Uh, and are cared for and are, are, are sort of visible for, for our audience. Okay, and we can see all of this at the Reading Public Museum through September 26th. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jill. We've been talking with Scott Schweiger. I'm Jill Horner.